Hello, my name is Catherine Barthimos, and I'm the curator of alternative constructions here at Somewhere Gallery. Today, I'll be giving you a virtual guided tour of the exhibition. I hope you enjoy. Parallel to our present, we can construct a new environment. From mind to hand, we piece together unconventional materials and thought-provoking concepts to build ourselves something new to share with others. Art making acts as an outlet for play and exploration, as well as a shelter for those to construct a safe space. A poetic response takes place by nurturing these materialized environments. Within these artworks, we explore the internal versus external through materiality, concepts, and aesthetics. This tour will consist of short descriptions about the artist and artwork. For full descriptions, please refer to Somewhere Gallery's social media pages. The first artist is Francis Marcel Williams with three paintings titled Untitled Frost Flowers, Flatfoot, and A Stiff Breeze. These relatively small paintings represent a reduction in Francis's previous tendencies as a painter. It is a sacrifice of their bias towards large, expansive, abstract work in exchange for a more explorative, playful work. They always seek formal soundness, but these works are a move towards an application of formal notions with a more wholesome and holistic end. The pleasures elicited by the paintings act as a salve for the anxieties and ennui that we feel. Carefully constructed, studiously arranged, and based on much research, the underlying thesis inherent in the paintings is that playfulness and childlike radiance is not an ignorant or immature field of experience. The paintings are a reminder for us to dispel cynicism without sacrificing our awareness of the complex realities of life. The next artist is Laurent Le Bel Roux with this white pastel drawing series titled These Places That Inhabit Us. This series uses architectural, urban, and natural fragments of images found on the internet to be gathered and transcribed on paper to produce the illusion of homogeneous spaces. These worlds of the constructed impose themselves like structures supporting a dialogue between the perceived and the imaginary. The impression of interior versus exterior overlap in the representation of space in order to simulate the inherent interaction between consciousness and the sensible world. Real and imaginary spaces meet to create mysterious images that lead the viewer to question the reality of their representations. The next artist is Clara Michaud with this ceramic sculpture titled Odera du Long Habit. Clara Michaud is a sculptor fascinated by surreal tales and the visual language humans share. Michaud works with ceramics, technology, and textiles to explore themes of habitat, narration, and the self by discussing political themes like ecology, womanhood, and social norms. Au-delà du long habit is a ceramic sculpture that presents a seashell as a home for a woman missing her head. By having the surreal meet the miniature, the work creates an intriguing scene. The figure might be hearing the ocean, or might have taken this house from something else. There is a tale embedded in the details. One can explore the narrative work and reflect about the origins of the self and where this history is held. This piece can leave the viewer contemplating, what is home? The next artist is Simon Petapiece with these two wall sculptures titled Optics 1 and Durofoam 7. These pieces are created using construction material such as acrylic lighting panels, drop ceiling frames, durofoam installation, and house paint. There is an interesting parallel to this gallery location being built with the same materials. Simon Petapiece is a visual artist whose work deals with the material and aesthetic conditions of the built environment. Through the appropriation and misuse of industrial products, processes, and tools, this body of work deals with the materiality of interior spaces. 
In particular, the work involves transforming ubiquitous products like drywall, ceiling tiles, and rigid insulation into objects that manipulate and aestheticize these materials' intended use and meaning. The unique properties and unintentional beauty of industrial products are used to create a decorative language that feels both derived from and incongruous with the utilitarian nature of the materials being used. The final artist is Raphael Biscotti with this untitled graphite drawing on Japanese paper. Raphael Biscotti's practice is generated by the multiple effects of his generalized anxiety disorder and its creative potential on the imagination. His research expands the observations of his trauma, mental illness, and the broad spectrum of his anxiety. The slow process of drawing allows him to enter into a reconciliation with the eternal process of healing and helps him to better name what he feels. Care, empathy, and gentleness are at the center of this study, and he tries to convey them through the fine and local descriptions he makes on the paper. Thanks for watching the virtual guided tour of alternative constructions here at Somewhere Gallery. For more information on this exhibition and to see what's coming next, you can follow Somewhere Gallery on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in gallery sometime soon.